Okay, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon again. Okay, kita dah done with example number one. We already calculated the bending and shear reinforcement. So, kita dah dapat the final design which look like this. Uh, I dah betul kan lah. Yang mana typo-typo T tu, I dah letak Y balik <coughs> and such. And hopefully you understand and note, take notes on how to calculate the shear reinforcement and also the bending reinforcement that we calculated in previous week. Okay. Um, okay, here we go again for na example number 2. So, uh, example number 2, a simply supported rectangular beam of 7 meter span uh, carries characteristic that GK. So, here you just take notes that it also mentioned that um, including self weight of beam. Okay. Which means that it is already include dalam dead load given in the question. Maksudnya 12 kN per meter ni tak termasuk dengan uh, self weight. So you tak perlu calculate separately eh. And impose load QK 8 kN per meter. Okay the beam dimension are breadth B is 275 given. And effective depth is 450. Okay. So, apa beza soalan ni dengan soalan example 1? <coughs> if you notice in example 1, jangan cerita dia punya 450 atau 75. Okay, bukan. Dalam example 1, kita kena kira uh, self-weight separately. Kita kena campur sendiri dalam dead load and kira dia punya total dead load. Okay, and another thing if you notice... In example 1, H yang given. Okay, H dia bagi value. D tak ada value. Okay, but here D is given but we don't see any H given here. Meaning you have to calculate H lah on your own. Okay, tapi dia dah bagi D. Okay, assuming FCU is 30 newton over mm square blah blah blah. Design the bending and shear reinforcement. Okay, sama juga dia minta bending dengan shear reinforcement. Maksudnya main bar dan juga link. Okay, uh, ini dia nak link, dia nak main bar. Okay, kita take note dekat sini apa dia minta. Alright, another thing. Uh, apa lagi saya nak cerita? Uh, okay, kita juga take note yang FY460 maksudnya dia adalah Y itulah yang high tensile steel. And FYV ni uh, R lah. Meaning uh, mild steel. Okay. Take note on this so that kita tak salah label. Alright. Um, so how are we going to do this? Okay. First as usual. First step calculate the loading. Okay. To calculate the loading. Uh, the Using the formula of ultimate load. W equal to 1.4 GK plus 1.6 QK again. Masukkan terus. Okay, tak perlu kira self weight sebab dia dah mention here including self weight. Okay, so tak perlu masukkan terus masukkan saja dalam this formula and you will get the final answer which is 29.6 kN per meter. Meaning, beam you panjang macam ni. Berapa panjang dia tadi? Length, I lupa. 7 meter here. Alright. Um, panjang dia 7 meter. So, 29.6 kN per meter. So, maksudnya this one dah termasuk dengan factor of safety and such. Eh? Alright. Next. Okay, kita boleh go straight to main steel. Okay. Memang normally bila lepas kita kira loading, kita akan to, uh, calculate the moment. And then, kita akan compare dengan uh, ultimate moment resistant. And then, kita kira at S. Um, dan seterusnya. Eh, tu memang step-step dia lah. Typical step. Typical. Okay. Uh, dia punya SOP. <laughs> Standard operation procedure. Alright. So M. The formula is WL square over 8. Okay. So W. You have it in this uh, W formula which is ultimate design load. Put it inside this formula. And the value of length. 7 meter given the question and divide by 8. Okay, jangan lupa power of 2 words ni. And then you akan dapat 181.3 kN meter. Alright. After that, as usual, we need to calculate the ultimate 
moment resistance. Okay, kita tak perlu nak calculate D. Because D is given already. Okay, jangan lupa sebab sebelum ni you ada kira D H minus. No, 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 no. You can assume, 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 assume. Eh, tak salah. You assume, assume tu semua. Okay, tak perlu. Okay, because we already have D inside this question dah bagi D value D 450 so boleh directly kira value of ultimate moment resistance you akan dapat 260 eh apa aku tulis ni 260618 mm, mm, mm. ok macam ni lah so tukarkan dia dalam kilometer bagi 1000 and another time bagi lagi 1000 so the, uh, the value akan 260.618 kilonewton meter alright and then um, compare kan M dengan MU you will see M is less than MU ataupun we also can write it as MU is bigger than M ok Um, it means that uh, no compression reinforcement is required maksudnya design as singly reinforced concrete beam only ok so ini adalah tension reinforcement eh. ok uh, as uh, the previous example ingat kat atas ni ada hanger bar sahaja hanger bar bukannya compression reinforcement eh Okay, singly takkan ada compre compression reinforcement above. Okay, on the top side ni tak ada. Okay, tu yang kita kena ingat. Alright. Proceed to the next. <coughs> We need to calculate all, uh, the area of steel. Okay, to calculate the area of steel. As usual, We need to find the value of K, the value of Z. So as what I dah mention sebelum ni, memang dia punya... The method is actually repetitive cara dia sama but it depends on what's given in the question. Okay, Or, ataupun <laughs> as a corner-corner kalau you kerja as a designer, as a engineer, apa information yang you ada so you kena uh, design based on the information that is given like that. Okay, um, before we find S, we need to find K. Okay, so to find K, use the same formula M. Divide by FCU B D square. Masukkan value of M that you ha already have earlier which is the ultimate design moment. Okay, masukkan sahaja. Okay, you will get 181, sorry. Uh, you went 1.3, ni bukan you will get. You mana ada kat sini. Tapi you tukar dia pada Newton MM. Don't forget that because uh, we know that it, the FCU is in Newton MM. Jadi kita kena convert anything Kalau kilo newton, convert newton Kalau meter, tukar millimeter That kind of thing eh huh. And then um, Bahagikan dengan uh, FCU 30 Given dalam soalan FCU adalah 30 Kat sini Okay, we have the FCU Put it inside And B also given the question 275 And D also given the question 450 power of 2. Alright. And then, calculate-calculate. Uh, so, you dapatlah 0.109. As what I say, kalau you compare dengan 0.156, memang dia akan less than K prime ni. 0.156 ni adalah K prime eh. Sebab, memang obviously kalau M less than MU, means that K going to be less than K prime. Okay. K prime ni maksudnya maximum. Maka jadi sing singly. Kalau dia lebih daripada K prime dia dah doubly tu maksud dia. Okay. Uh, after that calculate Z masukkan saja the value of K inside 0.109 inside this K in the Z formula and D also leave it just like it is. No need to put it, uh, put the value sebab kita dah ada value D, tak ada masalah kita boleh letak pada 30 kat sini tapi kita letak because we need to compare it with 0.95D ni, ok, kita nak compare dia, so bila kita dah compare macam ni we already have that the value of D is less than 0.95 we going to use this value to calculate S, ok, kita tak pakai value 0.95 
Kalau you dah dapat bigger Macam dalam example number one I pernah explain tapi example number one masih less lah Tapi if let's say I, I explain example number one Kalau you dapat uh, value of z bigger than 0.95 Which means you, you have to use 0.95 Instead of the value that you uh, calculate Masa you kira z Okay Masukkan saja 0.59d inside value of as ni Okay Dalam z ni lah Okay, so uh, formula of AS is M divided by Oh man, formula ini salah Sekejap ya, I betulkan dulu Okay, I corrected uh, the, this 0.95 Actually the value here Okay, after I calculated it is correct Okay, but the one uh, I put inside the formula typo Okay, 0.7 ni is <coughs> actually previous Um Formula daripada BS juga Tapi sekarang dia dah update to 0.95 So we use 0.95 instead Alright So 0.95 Okay bahagi 460 FY dah bagi dalam soalan uh, Put the value of Z Which is uh, 0.859D Replace D with the value of D lah 450 Ayo, I tak boleh padam sebab I dah keluar tadi. Okay, so 450 ni value of. Ini boleh menjadi sesuatu yang annoying. Okay, 450. Okay, and then as usual after we um already have the value of S, what we need to do next is we need to find um the size of the bar. Okay, kat sini tak ada mention. In the question, there's nothing that mentioned that um, you have to use what size, what size. And also, um, hmm, macam itulah. Okay. And also, earlier kita memang tak ada mention because kita tak ada kira value of D. So, kita tak ada any assumption that we made earlier in order nak kita nak assume bar size dia berapa. So, kita boleh pakai bar size berapa-berapa je as long as it fulfill. 1073.274 ni Okay Itu maksud dia Alright um, So kat 10 we, we have the value of AS equal to 1073. Point berapa? 274 Okay we have this value From this value Right Okay we look at the um, Which one yang fulfill So we have like 3y25 Okay, kita boleh pakai 3y25 We have like 4y20 We have 6y16 Okay Up to you Okay, ini I bagi contoh saja Okay um, As what I said before Kita boleh buat dia as double layer Contohnya Maksud saya double layer ni macam ni lah Okay Okay, mungkin ada yang tanya, Miss boleh tak pakai 7Y12? Okay, 7, sorry, 7Y16. Kalau 7Y macam mana you nak susun dia? You must remember dalam earlier, dalam class tu ada mention that bila you buat the stack macam ni, okay, dia mesti sama. Meaning kalau ada atas, ada bawah. Ada atas, ada bawah. Okay, tak boleh ada atas saja, tak ada bawah. Okay, ataupun ada bawah saja, tak ada atas. Okay, takkan you nak letak dia macam ni. 7 kan? 7 kan? Hmm, macam ni. Takkan you nak letak dia derek-derek-derek sampai 7. I rasa tak muat spacing ni. Kita kena consider masalah spacing eh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh 8 lah. Kita kena consider masalah spacing. Okay kalau you letak terlampau banyak bar. Macam mana nak muat? Macam mana spacing ni enough or not? Okay that's why uh, try to reduce the number of bar. So that we make sure that it is... um sufficient um the 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 space is sufficient um according to the clause okay um that's why we you have like a lot of choice so here i choose 4y20 okay it's up to me sukati i lah nak buat 4y20 this is my example okay maybe you can challenge yourself mungkin you boleh kira on your own you mungkin boleh pakai uh, 3y25 or um, 6y16 okay mungkin you can do it also okay but here I tunjuk satu saja uh, I pakai this uh, 4y20 
Okay. Uh, all right. For Y20. Okay. Here I put like from table provide for Y20. Uh, looking back, um, look back at the table. It is cross section area of bar. This table, it is for Y20. 1260. Okay. Here. Okay. Oh, the next step I need to do is I need to check the spacing. So again, we have to use the same formula as what we have learned in previous previous class okay you have the link i'm going to explain it this is the last time i'm going to explain about the link because basically i believe that when the nippon kalau i explain banyak kali mungkin you akan boring because it is it actually sama sahaja okay we need to find the spacing in between this bar okay all right here we have 275 you know the b is 275 and then you minus four numbers of 20 mm so this distance is cancel with a minus and then minus again dengan spacing so we have left and right spacing minus and again minus dengan this link 10 mm both side hilang so we have only one two three space that is actually equivalent equivalent which is each other maksudnya equal sama so, 1, 2, 3. That's why divide by 3. Ataupun kalau kita pakai formula, it is number of bar minus 1. Actually, it's not formula. Basically, it's what I understand lah. That's why I put it in a formula sebenarnya. Kalau you tengok dalam buku and such, okay, dalam any any guideline or whatsoever, dia tak ada letak that formula. It is what we understand lah. Okay. So, that's why I don't put it in, in a formula jenis macam formula punya cara kat sini sebab dia tak ada formula ok itu adalah apa yang kita faham macam mana kita susun bar macam kita nak kira spacing macam tu lah cara dia ok um, kita kira and then kita akan dapat 41.667 which is good because we are using 20mm ok you still remember kalau kalau typo lagi H H A G G plus 5 ok 5mm ok kalau katakan uh, the 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 um, diameter of bar lah diameter of bar kita aduh diameter of bar ni adalah um, less than H A G G plus 5 meaning kita kena compare dengan uh, H A G G plus 5 okay tapi kalau ini lebih besar daripada ini Kita akan compare dengan ini eh. Dengan diameter of bar. Here diameter of bar kita less than H A G G plus 5. So kita tahu H A G plus 5 lah 20. Okay. I dah mention sebelum ni 20 mm. So diameter of bar kita lah 25. Sorry 20 mm. So 20 mm less than 25 lah. 20 25, 25. So, kita akan compare dengan H A G G plus 5. Okay. Which means this is like 25 mm. Okay. Alright. So... Compare with this one, uh, it is okay. Okay, because of it, it is bigger. 41.67 is bigger than HHG plus 5mm. Lebih besar daripada 25mm. Which is good. Alright. Okay. We are done with this. Okay, I'm going to show you another example perhaps. Kalau you pakai... Uh, okay, 25mm kita dah pernah try dalam example number one. So, I don't really care about this 3Y25 sebenarnya. Okay, obviously kalau you pakai 3Y25 pun sebenarnya spacing takkan ada masalah sebab dia 3 dia punya number of bar less makin kurang number of bar sebenarnya you tak perlu sangat risau pasal spacing. Tapi what if you choose to use 6Y16? Okay if in any um, situation that mungkin you rasa you nak pakai 6Y16. Okay um, mungkin kita boleh buat. Okay. Ini contoh saja eh. 6Y16. So 275U minus lah. Dengan 6 darab 16mm. You nak pakai 6Y. So uh, the idea here. Kalau katakan you nak pakai 6Y. Mungkin you kata okay I nak buat. Um, bar I satu, uh, tak, tak stack. Maksudnya macam ni lah. Uh, 6 biji. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay berderit. <laughs> okay, you nak buat macam ni Kita tengok whether it is okay or not 
darab 25 2 darab 25 mm sama saja 2 darab 10 mm ok ok and then you kena bagi dengan 5 5 lah ok sebab number bar minus 1 ok I kira kejap here I dapat 21.8 ok ok masalahnya 21.8 ni dia less than HAGT plus 5 dia less than 25 ok so tak boleh you memang takkan boleh buat dia tak bar yang tak berstack ok kalau macam kita tak ada masalah kita boleh buat bar ni jadi stack sebab uh, earlier kita memang tak ada any anything yang kita macam assume ok yang ada kita assume bar ni macam sebab kalau dalam previous example kita pernah assume yang um, this is only one layer bar masa kita kira D eh. still remember masa kita kira D kita assume that um, dalam example number one kita assume that um, it is not it's not stack the bar is not stack so kita calculate D to in that way but here there's nothing there's uh, there's no assumption made earlier tak ada tak ada assumption assumption jadi kita boleh masih boleh assume yang bar ni berstack ok maksudnya kita pakai macam ini ok maksudnya right now maybe we have this kind lama sebenarnya I nak delete tu je tapi dia delete bila ni again you have the same thing pusing pusing ok and then you put your bar 1, 2, 3 is a stack bar 1, 2, 3 stack ok remember ok macam ni lah alright and to do this ok bila you dah dapat macam ni you nak buat macam ni lah katakan you nak pakai stack bar ok it's a, it is allowed for this example sebab kita tak ada any assumption sebelum ni boleh so kat sini bila you kira dia punya spacing janganlah letak 6 obviously dia bukan 6 obviously dia adalah 3 sebab kalau tengok kat sini dia adalah 3 bar pasang tak 3 bar kalau you kira dia secara ni 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 macam ayat cakap ok so 275 tolak 3 minus 16 na 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 so you akan dapat value yang ok I kira sekejap Here you will get value of 52, 52.333 which is obviously it is bigger than HAGG plus 5. Okay, means it is okay. Tapi you must remember you do it in this cara stack macam ni. Bila you kira H, dia bukan lagi kira macam ni. Bila you kira H, H U akan jadi H equal to D plus full bar plus bar prime plus C. Bukan bar bagi dua eh. Tak ada eh. So bila you kira. Because D U sekarang adalah dekat centroid of this. Between between these two bar. D U sekarang duduk kat situ. Okay. So you have full another full bar. Another one link and another concrete cover that kind of thing. So itu cara macam mana kita nak kira Kalau kata kan we need the bar to be stack Contohnya dalam soalan okay, Dalam soalan dia dah ada requirement Dia kata use 16mm diameter bar Macam mana sekali pun you kena pakai 16 You tak boleh pilih 20, you tak boleh pilih 25 okay, Kalau you pilih 20, automatic pangkah okay. In that way you are forced to use 16 When you are forced to use 16 This is one way that you boleh Uh, buatlah ok stack bar like this kalau you buat dia one layer obviously spacing tak cukup salah juga eh terus design you terus salah ok uh, example sahaja ok so bila you kira D make sure you include uh, here tukar bar you bukan lagi separuh ok masa you kira because you need to find the full H value H later on Uh, so remember it is uh, full bar here ok bukan separuh sahaja full reinforcement bar uh, diameter dia ok uh, right 
we are done with bending reinforcement. Okay, I not go quite fast because I rasa kita dah belajar sebenarnya benda ni. So, I rasa you dah ada a little bit here and the pemahaman. So, not no need for me to explain like in very detail like before. Okay, uh, as usual again, in shear reinforcement, I go straight to shear reinforcement. We have like the W which is uh, 29.6. So, where I got this 29.6, still remember the ultimate load that we calculated earlier is W. Okay, again W ni meaning 29.6 kN untuk setiap 1 meter. So, for 7 meter, it is 207.2. Okay, and then we know that the beam is symmetrically loaded meaning at, uh, kanan dan kiri sama. Uh, obviously, the reaction going to be the same and each support going to support the same load. Okay. Kita akan dapat the value of maximum shear force bahagi terus je 207.2 ni terus bagi 2. Okay. Because the balance. Jadi, bahagi 2 you akan dapat 103.6 kN. Okay. Again, we need to calculate the V. V here adalah uh, shear stress at section which section section yang maksimum lah kita tahu kat sini yang paling teruk dia punya reaction dia because ada force going up and force going down at the same area okay ini adalah maximum shear force where it happen so obviously shear stress the maximum here going to happen also at this point okay uh, uh, therefore use the formula of um V equal to V divided by PT. Quite confusing here. But V, the small V here means shear stress at a uh, section. And V here means maximum shear force uh, divided by B and D, breath and effective depth. Okay. Uh, uh, masukkan saja formula Dalam formula ni, value of V, tukar dia kepada from kilonewton to newton. So, you know that when kilonewton tukar to newton, you have to times 1000. So, that's why I did 10 power of 3 here. And divide with the value of B which is 275 given dalam. So, alan balik, kita tengok, check. The B is 275 and the D is 450. So, kan saja. Alright. You're going to get the value is... 0 0.837 uh, and we're going to check the permissible stress again nak tengok okey ke tak ok kalau lebih maksudnya tak okey lah ok so um, masukkan saya dalam formula 0 0.8 uh, square root FCU so 0 0.8 square root we know that our FCU given again in the question it is 30 30 ok masukkan saja Okay. You will get um, 4.38. Okay. Ingat lagi, kita compare, sama ada kita compare 0 0.8 FCU ataupun 5 uh, Newton per mm square. Yang mana satu paling lagi rendah. Okay. Tapi because of this value is less than 5, kita compare dengan this value. Um, and when we have this value, kita compare lagi dengan uh, this V which is maxim, sorry, maximum. Which is, um, uh, apa nama tu? Shear stress at section. Okay. Compare with that value. Okay. Uh, when you compare, you pun dapat lah. Okay, my VU memang less than this 0 0.8 square root FCU. Okay. You dapat, so which means it is okay. Okay. Ini yang kita kena compare. Alright. Alright. After that, again, we have the same formula. Formula yang kita biasa nampak dah. No, this is the second time kita nampak. Which is VC. VC is um, concrete, shear, shear stress of concrete. Okay. Concrete yang berapa banyak yang concrete can resist shear stress. Okay. Kita nak tahu so that kita boleh provide extra support. Eh. Maksudnya extra support uh, to resist shear mungkin dari segi shear reinforcement lah. Okay. Masukkan saja formula again and again here it is 100 AS divided by D. Okay. Kita kira separately outside because kita tak nak our formula become very 
serabut-serabut kita kira kat luar okay, masukkan saja 100ls so here um, I tak pakai yang contoh I buat kat sini eh you jangan look at this whatever contoh that I bagi kat sini because I masih lagi stick with my 4y20 Okay, because I rasa I nak pakai ini juga. I tak nak buat that stack. <laughs> stack beam. Okay, sebab dalam soalan pun dia tak ada mention kena pakai 16mm diameter. So, I stick with 20mm diameter bar. So, I can just use this for Y20. Okay. And I see the value of AS is 1, 2, 6, 0. Okay, from this 1, 2, 6, 0. Ayo. Okay, from this one to six zero, um, masukkan saja eh, as here. Okay, divide by b and d again, and I get one point zero one eight. Okay, this one point zero one eight, put it inside the formula of vc, which is you have zero point seven nine punca kuasa tiga hundred as over bd. So inilah the one point zero one eight, and um, if you still remember. And in our previous example, example number one, if let's say, um, apa nama, FCU, okay, bukan, FCU is uh, bigger than 25, obviously you kena masukkan formula ini, okay, dalam formula ni lah. Sebab, kalau kata kan, <laughs> Dia memang 25. Kalau soalan bagi FCU adalah 25. So obviously kalau you kira 25 bagi 25 punca kuasa 3 sekali pun tetap dapat 1. Okay. Tak payahlah kira sebab darab, darab 1 tetap value yang sama. So that's why kalau 25 you stick with this 25. But if you get the value less than that. Eh sorry bigger than that. So maksudnya 25 you ni bukan... Uh, bukan bukan 20 sorry FCU bukan 25 FCU 30 ke FCU 35 ke you kena ada tambahan this formula okay so that's why ada formula ni I letak I tambah because in the case that FCU is not 25 okay alright after that um, we have this uh, formula of punca kuasa 4, 400 divided by D and again since D, we have D 450 so kalau 450 ok, you masukkan dalam formula yang ini so D ni katakan you letak 450 obviously, the value of D, sorry, the value of this whatever here, akan lagi akan less than one. So, kita tak nak dia less than one. So, whenever when the value of D lebih besar daripada 400. Contohnya macam kita punya 450. So, kita terus je ambil satu and replace the formula. Okay. Tapi kalau <laughs> kalau D kita 300, D kita 350 kan. Obviously, kita kena ki kira. Okay. That's why I kena juga bagi tahu benda ni. Takut tiba-tiba dalam soalan katakan lah. Okay, mungkin dia bagi D375 contohnya. Okay, obviously bila you kira 375 here. Okay, you letak 375. Okay, you memang akan dapat value kat sini bukan satu. Dia mungkin one point something something. Which is that value you going to put inside this formula. Okay. Maksudnya, you kena kira lah. Okay. Bukan satu. Okay. And then, you will get 0 0.676. Okay. I calculated already. Okay. And we going to see how we going to design the uh, shear reinforcement. Okay. Kita ada this all limitation here. Okay. When we check V. Okay. Ingat ada satu 0.5 VC. Ada satu VC plus 0 0.4. And another one is... Uh, 0 0.8 square root FCU but 0 0.8 square root FCU obviously kita dah calculated masa kat sini so memang kita dah nampak eh ok memang jelas tak ada masalah lah ok <coughs> ok dekat sini uh, ok 
kita kira 0.5 Vc ok maksudnya 0.5 darab dengan 0.676 ni we get 0.338 ok if you look at your V ok that we calculated here it is 0 0.837 so 0 0.837 um, 0 0.837 this is our V ok so 0 0.837 ni obviously lebih besar daripada 0 0.338 ok so this is yang kita tahulah ok and then another thing that we need to um, compare which is VC plus 0 0.4 meaning that 0 0.676 plus 0 0.4 you get 1.076 ok but our V is less than this value so V is less than VC plus 0 0.4 so here in this question we see that it is different from our previous example number one where we get V is bigger than VC plus 0.4 so kita tahu kalau katakan kita dapat macam sebelum ni V plus, plus 0.4 VC plus 0.4 kita dapat macam ni kan dalam example number one so kita kena design one as nominal link kita kena design dua kali satu nominal link Another one kita kena kira as design link. Okay. Bila kita dapat macam ni. Maksudnya as this one. V less as Kita tak payah kira design link. Memang semua sepanjang-panjang beam tu. Kita design je as nominal link. Okay. Tu maksud dia. Ataupun kita tengok balik. The formula that we have. So that you mungkin lebih faham. Mana dia. Sorry, I must say mencari. Oh, it's at the back. Is it? It's at the back. Okay. Um. Okay, it is here. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um. So sekarang our situation is this one. Kita tak sampai sini. Okay. Yang tadi memang kita dapat V bigger than VC plus 0 0.4. Okay. Tapi here, kita, yang for this example, example number two. Our V is bigger than 0 0.5 VC but it is less than VC plus 0 0.4 which is we only provide minimum link ataupun nominal link using this formula. Formula mana? So, I dah betulkan balik. Jangan tengok example. <laughs> example sebelum ni I cakap ada terterbalikkan dalam formula yang I letak dekat dalam your notes. Please take note on that and please tulis lah sebab I dah release share reinforcement punya notes yang this one so make sure you betulkan balik so that kita tak salah okay ya kat sini I dah betulkan um, tapi ini I dah share so I tak share lagi dah slide ini okay betulkan dalam notes yang you sebelum ni take notes on that okay uh, so we only kita akan ambil kira sampai sini saja kita tak kira design link only nominal link ataupun minimum link as what it is noted here Okay, use that formula. Okay, only nominal link that we're going to provide. Okay, where is it? Alright, here is nominal link are required. Okay, so here is the formula. Okay, masukkan je ASV divided by SV 0.4B 0.87FYV. So 0 0.4275 0.87 divide by 2 sorry times 250 FYV already given dalam soalan which is here mana dia 250 ok maksudnya miles still lah kita pakai for link then uh, calculate I get 0 0.506 ok this 0 0.506 again we look at this table okay but you can use tak ada masalah you nak pakai 8 diameter pun tak ada orang cakap salah you boleh use 8 okay tak ada masalah selagi you fulfill uh, spacing ni maksudnya sekarang ni 0 0.523 so ASV divided by SV as what we get earlier is 0. Point, apa? Salah. 0. 0.506. Salah ke kalau I pakai ni? I boleh pakai R8. 
dash 150cc Maksudnya kita pakai mild steel Diameter size 8 150 Center to center Maksudnya spacing dia 150 I boleh pakai ni I tak ada masalah okay. Sebab dalam soalan tak ada mention Kita kena pakai diameter 8 Ataupun kita tak ada buat assumption earlier Kita mesti pakai diameter 10 tak ada. Kita tak ada buat assumption eh. Macam macam exam sebelum ni kita ada assumption Saya cakap kita pakai 10mm But here it is not even mentioned in the question and there is no assumption made earlier so we can use 8 diameter or we can use 10 mm diameter but here i choose to use 10 mm because i just love 10 mm <laughs> so i i rasa i suka 10 mm okay this is like my favorite okay so uh use 10 mm diameter <laughs> uh so i use a uh, spacing 300 okay Okay, 300. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, and again, don't forget, I rasa I terlupa something. <laughs> to put that, uh, the spacing. Okay, maximum spacing link is 0.75D. Okay, so kita kena letak that thing inside here. Ayo. Maximum spacing. Okay, put it here. Zero point seven five D. Okay, maximum spacing link nak letak lah yet macam tadi. Okay, don't forget. Uh, equal to so zero point seven five times with D. D we know it is. Apa tadi? Four hundred. 50mm ok so we going to get so I dah kira and I dah dapat it is 337.5mm ok because kita dah kira maximum spacing I lupa nak letak here but here I take note because dekat sini I kira ok Maximum spacing of link is 0.75D equal to 0 0.75 times the D and you're going to get the value eh. So kita check. Because I suka sangat letak 10mm. Betul ke? I boleh ke letak 10mm? Kalau 10mm obviously bila diameter dia makin besar, spacing dia akan makin besar juga eh. Sebab kita akan lose use less uh, less bar. Sebab Yelah, dah bar besar. Maksudnya dah kuat. Berapa kita nak banyak-banyak bar kan? Okay, obviously, dia pun spacing akan jadi lebih besar. Okay. 337.5 and link yang kita provide 300mm uh, dia punya spacing which means it is oh, okay lah. Tak ada masalah eh. <laughs> so, kalau kata kan you pakai 12. Katakanlah I rasa I nak pakai 12. I pakai ni lah. Saya paling Oh sebab dia sampai 300 je dia bagi kat sini Okay it can be Bagus lah dia pakai sampai 300 je Kalau dia bagi lebih lagi mungkin Spacing you akan jadi mungkin lagi besar Tapi tak apa kita check saja So okay lah Okay and then um, We need to calculate the value of H Okay so kita nak kira H Sebab last kali kita nak design dia Maksudnya kita nak kena lukis macam ni That's why we need to have H Sebab kita tak tak ada dalam sebelum-sebelum kita tak ada kira H tu. Kalau you notice kita tak ada kira value of H langsung. Okay. Jadi kita kena kira H dekat sini. Okay kira H 450 plus 25mm. 25mm ni alah ni tunggal langgang ni. Si concrete cover. And then we have like diameter of um, link 10mm. Sebab saya pakai 10mm. And then diameter of bar you I pakai 20mm. As what we... Um, Look at our previous This one I pakai this 20mm But for Y20 So it is 20mm uh, And then I get uh, Divide by 2 Since kita tak ada kira dia As tag bar eh. Kalau you pakai 16mm tadi ha, You kena ingat lah jangan divide by 2 Ini you kena buang lah kalau you pakai stack bar macam example I bagi dalam bending reinforcement eh. Okay. Uh, and then I dapat 495. 
Okay. So, I dapat 495. We can finally draw this. Okay. For Y20, breast 275. Uh, 450 effective depth. Okay. Ingat kan tadi dia kata 495. So, maksudnya kalau you dapat 45 ni dari mana? 495 minus 450. You get this balance of 45 mm. And we use the R10 links. And to Y12 hanger bar for the sake of uh, connection only. Okay. That's all you need inside this uh, design. Okay. Um, I think that will be all. Example number one, I will explain. Uh, kita, we going sorry uh, we going to do tutorial basically kita akan mengira sama-sama in the next uh, class maksudnya dalam kelas tutorial okay uh, hopefully everyone akan prepare with kertas and pen sebab i nak kira dengan you dan i akan tanya soalan okay bye have a nice day everyone